This video will show you how you can mint your first Verse Voyager. So we're going to start off connecting to our wallet. So after pressing the connect wallet button, you're going to see this drop down with several different wallets. We'll choose the Bitcoin.com wallet for this example. As you can see, this QR code shows up. You have to open up your Bitcoin.com wallet on your mobile phone and you'll have to scan this QR code. So I'll take my wallet out now and I'll hit that scanner icon on the top right. I'll point my camera towards the QR code and you'll see the app prompts me to make sure I want to connect to this application. I'll press connect and I'm successfully connected to this decentralized application. So now that we're connected, the next step will be to log in. So to do this, we have to sign a message. But don't worry, this won't cost any gas. It simply indicates that we intend to access the application. So now that we've successfully signed in, the next step will be to actually create our Voyager. So your Voyager will have six different traits, each of which will be randomly assigned. To get a trait, you'll have to press that spin button and then see what you get. So let's press it and let's see what we get. And there is our Voyager. So let's look at the traits. We got one rare trait, which is pretty good. Most are common, but we got one rare one, no epics. Those are quite hard to get. And he's in matching colors, which is pretty cool. Now we do get a free respin, so we might as well use that. But do note that this does cost some gas, but it's only a few cents, so it should be okay. And after the transaction successful, it'll probably take about 30 seconds for it to complete. And once, it, once it's completed, you can respin. Okay, so there's our new trait. It's also a common one, but that's okay. Now, if you want to, you can always keep re-spinning to get more traits if you're not happy with the traits you have. So you just press that button, re-spin, and then it's going to ask you to prove the use of verse because these re-spins cost verse. So you can allow it only once or you can keep it unchecked and then you can just keep re-spinning. So there you have it. That's how you mint your verse Voyager. So once you're happy with your Voyager, you can check it out on OpenSea, check out the different traits, and you can list it if you want, or you can just keep it, whatever you want. 